what the black man and woman needs to know about the nation, about the world, about themselves. Mohammed Speaks It. To order your 12-issue subscription to Mohammed Speaks newspaper, 313-371-7033. 313-371-7033. Kareem Bean Pie is the grand champion of all bean pies. The rich flavor and smooth texture takes this pie to a whole new level of delicious. One bite and you'll understand why people all over the country call daily to order Kareem Bean Pie. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. Kareem Bean Pie. Mohammed Speaks presents Messenger Elijah Muhammad's Teachings by Minister Khalil Shabazz every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. at Muhammad's Temple of Islam, 12609 East McNichols Road in Detroit. I'd like to say in the name of Allah who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad and in the name of his last and greatest messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, I'd like to greet the brothers and sisters with the nation of Islam's greeting words of peace of Islam alayk. Today we'd like to talk about the January 13th, 1967, Muhammad Speaks, and it's called, Every Nation Has a Term, What Shall You Do? And it's a few things that we can notice about this paper, and a lot of the papers of the message. He starts this off with a quote from the Holy Quran, because I'd be watching and Wallace and them people, them brothers who used to be in the nation of Islam, and then they went with Wallace. They like to say the first time they heard the Holy Quran was with Wallace. And if you get these Muhammad Speaks newspapers, the messenger would take a title from the Holy Quran and have it on the front page of the paper. Right, right. But they, a lot of them, I heard a lot of them brothers, because a lot of them brothers is imams. Mm -hmm. And they say the first time they was taught the Holy Quran was with Wallace. That's a lot. That's right. Then we have a picture that the messenger has at the bottom. And, and it's a picture of a, a white man bribe paying off the black preacher. He got the NAACP and he got the Urban League because the messenger used to go hard on these preachers and stuff. This brother right here is from the Urban League. His name is Whitney Young. And you see how this is the president Lyndon B. Johnson, how he all in this brother face. Right. Right. Looking at him like he like, you hear what I'm telling you, boy? Yeah. That's, right. That's exactly what he got. He looked like he like, oh, my God, like, why did I do that? But the messenger in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper was always criticizing these brothers. Mm -hmm. Because in our generation of Islam, we used to the old my black, black brother stuff. You know, just because you black, just because you got a black group, we think we're supposed to sympathize with you with the old my black brother, let's have unity. That wasn't a message. Because he always was talking about these preachers, the politicians, and whenever they did something that showed that they was an Uncle Tom, they had it in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. And this is a quote. This is how the messenger used to teach Islam to show how he wasn't with the my black brother stuff. This comes from the August 20th, 1972, and this was the theology of time. You have already accepted the devil. What you have is the devil. And if you like to go along with the devil, there is no objection. We don't object you going to the God that you believe in. But we hope when the day comes that Allah won't miss putting you in the middle of hell, that rejects you all. Not out on the outskirts of it but drop you right over in the middle of the lake of blood. Because salvation comes to you, and you reject it by the fire. You won't make no mistakes. It be the will of Allah. I won't make no mistake. Because I am supposed to be designed by Allah to help push you into hell, like Moses helped push Pharaoh. I'm in the same position of that, and you will find it in the Bible. And so, when you tie me down, I'm going to be all but satisfied. 
I would be just like your Bible teacher and the lamb was there. I waited for you 40 years to try to get you into heaven. Then you climb it down. I wish it then to put you in the middle of hell. Oh, praise due to Allah. That was a mess. He wasn't with that old my black brother stuff. The only time you will find when you look at these Muhammad Speaks newspapers and you look at the history, the only time the messengers were with the my black brother stuff is when you was acting like you wanted to accept. Yes, sir. But when you didn't accept them, they went back to banging on you. Yes, it wasn't no old my black brother let's have unity just because you in some black group. Yes, sir. Because what we need to understand about the message, whenever you had lost founders, you be with the my black brother stuff with them because they not a part of no group. They ain't made no choice. They just deaf, dumb, and blind. They out here wandering. So come on, my black brother, to the temple. Right, right. But when you have a leader of a group or you have people who are part of the group, ain't no my black brother with them because they done made a choice. Mm -hmm. The messenger got a program on the back of Muhammad Speaks newspaper. Yes, sir. Now, if you accept Urban League or you accept the Black Panthers, you saying, I don't care nothing about the messenger program. Mm -hmm. I think the Black Panther program is better than what the messenger. Mm -hmm. So ain't no my black bro. Right. Now we got to show the lost files the messengers program better than the Panthers. Yes, sir. Better than the Urban League. Yes, better than Dr. King and the civil rights people. Because this in this picture, you see how the white man was paying black people off to oppose the message. Mm -hmm. Because you see the white man saying he pointing at the message. He's saying, stop him. He's joining on to his own. So you see the preacher taking money. You see the urban, the NAACP, and you see uh, the Urban League taking money. So the messenger is addressing this in this Muhammad Speaks newspaper. He actually says uh, uh, Whitney Young's name because he was going in on these uh, civil rights leaders for taking money from the devil. Uh -huh. So we want to look at some history before we get into this Muhammad Speaks newspaper. Because we want to look at the real history about these civil rights leaders. Because a lot of times they give too much credit to Malcolm X. They always want to show Malcolm X in this picture that he had with Dr. King. Watch us on YouTube. Search Muhammad's Temple of Islam through your YouTube app, on your phone, smart TV, or your computer. Be sure to subscribe to Muhammad's Temple of Islam when you watch us on YouTube. This is the picture that they always show of Malcolm X with Dr. King. And the history behind this is Dr. King and Malcolm X just bumped into each other. It wasn't like it was a planned meeting. Mm -hmm. They was at the same place at the same time and they happened to, the press was there, so they took a picture up. So CNN and all black groups that like Malcolm X and everybody always talk about this little meeting or this little run-in that Malcolm X had with Dr. King. The title of this, this is from CNN, it says, Malcolm and Martin, closer than we ever thought. We don't got time to really get into this, this article. But go read how they blow up this one minute meeting that Malcolm X and Martin Luther King had. But who was actually down in Alabama or Georgia with Dr. King? It was Brother Jeremiah. Brother Jeremiah was actually that minister who the messenger sent down to Georgia to live in Atlanta. But they don't never talk about Brother Jeremiah. Because they always want to paint the picture that it was because of Malcolm X that all these people around the country started accepting Islam. And that ain't the facts. So we can look at, this comes from the April 5th. nineteen sixty one atlanta constitution the title is called the black muslims if muslims fail in atlanta they will fail in all of dicks so the white man knew that the muslims was trying to come down there and get a foothold in the south they knew that and they knew that if the muslims fail in atlanta 
then they're going to lose the whole south. The messenger sent Jeremiah to elect to, for the whole south now. They be blowing up Malcolm X because when you look at Malcolm X, when you look at the stuff he was doing, let's just look for an example and compare. October 11, 1963, Malcolm X was at the University of California, Berkeley. This is what he was doing in October of 1963. Let's look at what Brother Jeremiah was doing in October 11, 1963. October 11, 1963, Brother Jeremiah was in Birmingham when they bombed that church and them four little girls died. That's the type of stuff that Jeremiah was doing. Yes, sir. He was in the South with the real death. Right. Them devils that's killing black people. Them devils that's lynching black people. Them devils that's bombing black church. That's what Jeremiah was at. Yes, down there with Martin Luther King now. Yes, Malcolm wasn't never with them devils like that. Malcolm in the college. With the college level of death. Because yes, the messenger said that the white race is a race of death. That's right. But he said some are better than others. Yes, now if you had to choose where you wanted to go. Malcolm was in Harlem. Harlem is known for the Harlem Renaissance. With Duke Ellington, yes, sir. Louis Armstrong, and all them type brothers yes, in Harlem. It's the facts. Mm -hmm. Black people was leaving the South to go to Harlem. Yes. They call it the Great Migration. Mm -hmm. Black people was leaving the South to go up North. Mm -hmm. So where would you rather be selling a Muhammad Speaks newspaper in 1963? Yes, sir. Would you rather be selling a Muhammad Speaks newspaper in Harlem, where they got Duke Ellington and, and all them people, or would you rather be in Atlanta, where that's the headquarters for the Ku Klux Klan? Right, right. And we're going to compare, because they always be trying, because the one thing I hate about the history, how it's portrayed, even in the Nation of Islam, they always talking about Malcolm and Temple Number 7 and these national representatives. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the Muhammad Speaks newspaper, and you can see the whole Nation of Islam, what the messenger was sending certain brothers to do. Then you can see who was the big eye. Right. All praise due to Allah. Right. But when you got a, a NOI archive, that all they gonna do is show you and hype up a brother who was in Boston. It's just compare. Malcolm was in Harlem. This brother is in Boston. Brother Jeremiah is down there in the South. Right. Mm -hmm. right. With the real death. Right. He the one who the messenger sent to Birmingham. When they bombed the church, yes, sir. he said he got there and the church was still smoking. When he got there, them devils was there too. He there representing Muhammad Speaks newspaper. Right. Jeremiah, while these brothers in Harlem and Boston, now I'm not saying for one minute that nobody's job was easy. Right. Right. I ain't saying that at all. If you was a minister for the master, you was working. Right. But if you had a choice, keep it real. If you had a choice, which one would you rather be at? Would you rather be in the south or would you rather be in the north? Right. So, Brother Jeremiah, October 11, 1963, he down in, in, in Birmingham with the church bomb thing. Then we see Malcolm X again in October. This was October 11th. This was him October 27, 1963. And you can get this picture on the Wayne State uh, website. He had Wayne State on uh, September, October 11, 1963. So, so it, next two weeks, he go from Berkeley College to Wayne State. That's what he was doing. Jeremiah, not only did he have to go, now he got to go to Birmingham when they bombed the church. Then, in the July 19th, 1963, when that devil killed, when Byron Della Beckwith killed uh, Megar Evans, he got to go to Greenwood, Mississippi to interview the black people who was lived in the hometown of this devil who just killed Megar Evans. Yes, and the way he was reporting them that white black people was scared down in Greenwood to even talk about this devil. 
Because when this devil killed Megar Evans, he was a star down south. That's how it was in the south. Yes, sir. It wasn't like he was ashamed, like, oh, I... no, he was a star. Yes, sir. When that devil who bombed that church in Birmingham, he was a star yes, sir. to them devils. Yes. And when Jeremiah would interview them white people who love uh, Della Beckwith, who love them devils who was killing black people, they told Jeremiah, he a star. Ain't nobody gonna convict or criminalize no white man for killing a nigga. Mm -hmm. That's what they was telling Jeremiah while he interviewed him. Yes, sir. While Malcolm X, at birth, yes, we blew him up like he was just a man he had birth. He ain't down south with the real death. Right. I'm not saying what he was doing was easy, but let's compare it. Right. Why do he get all the hype? Right. And they don't talk about nobody else. When you had brothers who the messenger was sitting in the thick of it, while it's happening. Yes, sir. Not when it's over. Mm -hmm. This devil ain't even been convicted yet. And you down in Greenwood interviewing these people about this devil. Mm -hmm. You got brothers in Mississippi selling papers. Right. Yes, sir. That's, the, that's the history. Then, this is the July 19th, 1963 Muhammad Speaks. Because these was the same Muhammad Speaks newspaper. He go from where this devil who killed... Mega Evers and interview them black people there. This devil right here is that devil, J.B. Stoner, who said he wanted to hang the messenger from a tree. Jeremiah got to go interview this devil down in Montgomery, Alabama. Yes, That's what you see when you see these Muhammad speak. Dude, it wasn't all about tipping number seven. Right. Right. Jeremiah down south with the real devil. Yes, sir. Not only he down there with the Ku Klux Klan, he down there with the police. And with regular white citizens representing the message. That's what you see when you see these behind the speech newspaper. The messenger had a lot of laborers who was working hard for him yes. in the nation of Islam. It wasn't just about temple number seven and the national representative. Right. But if you can't get a whole Muhammad speech newspaper mm -hmm. where you can see everybody, they can do to the, to the history just like how the Smithsonian do. That's right. The Smithsonian take the history and they keep it. They put out what they want to put out. That's right. When you go to the Smithsonian and see what they have about the message, I think they got his FOI uniform and just some little plaque for him. Yes, That's the same thing they do with the messenger with yes. these. Yes. Because the thing about when you take a Muhammad Speaks newspaper and you want to hype up an individual, you don't want to tell people about the message. Yes. Because you learn about the messenger through his labors, yes. through what he had them do. Through what they was doing and, and what he had them to do. What was authorized for them to do. Yes, so you understand where the messenger was coming from. You understand the nation of Islam. You understand how it go. But when you take the papers and all you want to do is hype up one brother. You don't want people to know about the message. Right. You want to hype up your man. So you just take the little stuff that's in there about him. So we can go even further about Brother Jeremiah. Because these civil rights leaders. When they finally decided to go meet with the messenger, it was because of Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Because he was down there in Birmingham with, with, with Martin Luther King. He was in Atlanta with Martin Luther King. It wasn't nobody else. So we see, going back to the article, talking about Jeremiah in Atlanta. And this was in 1961. And a and part of the article says, Jer uh, lives near slump. It says Jeremiah X. Pugh replaced James in late 1957 or early 1958. Jeremiah is a hard worker. Yes, sir. This is what the devil's saying about this brother. Mm -hmm. Even though they don't like the Muslims at all. Right. But hey, I got to give credit where credit is due. This brother Jeremiah, hard work. Right. When we see this brother, he different from this brother James who was down here before because they kept tabs on these brothers. You can read about the top labors of the message in the devil's magazines, and they'll tell you this brother was a hard worker. Right. We don't like the Muslims, but hey, he was a hard worker. Yes, it says, and lives, unlike James, at the edge of the slum area, appealing directly to the poorest elements of the Negro community. It's brother, brother Jeremiah. Yes. He could have lived like brother James in the high echelon. Right. So not only is he dealing with the real death, he down there in the slums with the rest of the black people. Yes, sir. Brother Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. 
He was the one who was affecting them people down in the south. It ain't had nothing to do with Malcolm. It says he has been placed in charge of Muslims, of Muslim activity in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. So we just see. This was Jeremiah Montgomery in Alabama. This was Jeremiah in Green and what was it? Greenwood, Mississippi. And this Jeremiah in Alabama. They will keep tabs. They know what you're doing. Right. Yes, sir. Hard working, bro. Right. Brother Jeremiah, it says his future plan plainly depends on his ability to produce results. Because they knew that the messenger wanted some stuff in the South. They knew that. They knew the messenger had came down South. And even to listen to what they said about the messenger, they says Elijah Muhammad himself visited Atlanta last September. And this point is of more than routine importance. It says because the whole movement has grown around his personal magnetism. Around his yes. personal magnetism. Yes, Not Malcolm X. Right. The messenger. Right. And when you look at the documented history that these Nation of Islam archives and all these people try to hide, it wasn't none of these big eyes. Right. It was the messenger. Sending his laborers to these certain places, and it was his magnetism through his laborers which attracted the people. Right. All praise due to Allah. Right. That's why it's about the documented history. Yes. Because when you even look at this history that they got about Malcolm X on them documentaries, even Malcolm X's brothers, who used to talk against him mm -hmm. when the messenger was alive, they don't need documentary sympathizing with him. Mm -hmm. You got James Farmer who was in the Civil Rights Movement. You was a talk against Malcolm X. Talk about how silly he was to come to the South talking about getting a rifle club for black people. They used to talk against Malcolm X, but in the documentary. Because most people don't look at documented history when they look at the history of the nation of Islam. It's just oral stuff. You know, you think just because this brother was in the nation, he's still going to tell the truth. No. Everybody's flipped the script because the messenger ain't popular no more. So Malcolm popular now. And then we on this old my black brother stuff, so we don't say you're a hypocrite. Mm, that's right. We act like, oh, Malcolm. The only person that I could say was staying to the script was Captain Joseph, when you see him on them documentaries. Right. He said what the messenger was saying. No, he was a hypocrite. Right. But everybody else sympathized with him, saying something different than what they were saying when he was alive. But the documented history is what we want to go by. And it also says, it says Atlanta police, the FBI, and especially the Georgia Bureau of Investigation have kept close tabs on the Atlanta Temple since 1956. It says the GBI, which is the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, once maintained a Negro plant, or somebody who they put in the temple, inside the organization. It says he was severely roughed up when his role was discovered. Yes, sir. This is Jeremiah. Down there with the real devils now. He got a little, it was a small band of Muslims when Jeremiah was down there in 61. But they tell you how many people was coming routinely to the temple, how many was regular. But still, they was Muslims. Right. They see this brother, you with the FBI, severely roughed up. Mm -hmm. This was Jeremiah. He don't get no shine. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about Jeremiah at all. Then you see brother Jeremiah because the one thing that we, through the history, can pay attention to to see how victorious the messenger was, was with the Student Nonviolent Coordinate Committee. Because that was the young group of people during the Civil Rights Movement who was doing a voter registration drive. They were the young people. Everybody wanted the attention of the young people. Dr. King wanted them. Malcolm X wanted them when he left. And the messenger wanted the young people. So when you see the change in the civil rights movement, it wasn't because of the preachers. It was because the young people in the civil rights movement, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, mm -hmm. when they started changing towards the message. Yes, sir. Because the documented history shows that they was going to the temple listening to Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's the history. Because you got books written by lost founders talking about how the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, like how Jeremiah was teaching Islam. They like that black militant stuff from Brother Jeremiah. Yes, sir. And the book is called The Black Freedom Movement 
and the rise of the Black Panther Party. Because most of them student nonviolent coordinate committee people went to the past. That's why that documented history is good to see how the messenger changed America. Yes, sir. It's the message. Yes, sir. Even Lost Files writing books about how the student nonviolent coordinate committee went from student nonviolence to the past. And they documented where they went through, and it was through the temple. Yes, sir. It talks about how some of they even named the names of the student nonviolent coordinating committee who joined the nation. Yes, sir. Then they said they went from that to being to the Black Panther Party because the messenger wasn't going for all that stuff they were trying to go for. That's right. He wasn't with the old My Black Brother stuff. Yes, he was talking about accepting his teaching. Right. So the ones that didn't want to accept the messenger went to the Black Panther Party. Yes, sir. All this stuff documented. Because you had a picture of Brother Jeremiah with Martin Luther King. Why we don't show that? Right. He lived in Atlanta with Dr. King. Yes, sir. He, Dr. King saw Jeremiah more than he saw Malcolm. Right. Yes, sir. So why we don't show this picture? And talk about the relationship that Dr. King had with Jeremiah. Right. We don't talk about that. Right. It's another picture of Brother Jeremiah. This brother Jeremiah with this brother named Robert Abernathy. And I think looking at this picture, brother Robert Abernathy played Jeremiah on this picture. Because when you read it, it say, as sober civil rights rally in Birmingham. See, Jeremiah in Birmingham now. He in Atlanta is his temple, but he in Birmingham. Doing all that work in the South. It says, Atlanta Baptist minister, Reverend Ralph Abernathy shouted, this is the way the race problem in America can be solved. Then called Father Albert Foley and Muslim leader Jeremiah X to join hands with him on the roster. I think he got him. You know how you there. Like, oh. yeah, yeah. He played him yes, with sir. that. But Jeremiah was down there. Right. With, and Robert Abernathy is Martin Luther King's right hand man. That's right. This is the document. This is Jeremiah down there with them. It wasn't Malcolm X. It was him. Then we got another, some more documented history. This is from May 3rd, 19, all this going on in 1963. All this hard work Jeremiah putting in to transform them people's thinking from that civil rights stuff to the message. Yes, sir. All these years, the devil's in the Atlanta Constitution documenting Jeremiah. Jeremiah in Jet Magazine and he in uh, the, uh, the Muhammad Speaks. But in the history we talk about now, we don't talk about Jeremiah. Right. You don't hear nothing about Jeremiah. They don't rather talk about how Malcolm X bumped into Martin Luther King. Yes, sir. And all this history about Jeremiah, all this hard work. Right. Yes, so this is the May 30th, 1963 Jet Magazine. And it says, Muslims, we want store, not just a hot dog. Yes, sir. Because the one thing that you will notice about Malcolm when he turned hypocrite, he was trying to criticize the messenger because the messenger wouldn't join the civil rights movement. So when he left the nation, he tried to go down there and beg them to accept him as they leave. They rejected him. But the messenger, all them years that the messenger didn't join the, black, the civil rights movement, he attacked them. He criticized them. And in the end, you see, they wanted to come meet with him. That's why when you talk about the victory of the apostle, yes, sir. the messenger said, when you turn hypocrite, none of your aims or purposes will come to pass. That's none right. of them. That's right. All praise due to Allah. That's right. That's right. You trying to criticize the messenger like all oh, this stuff he doing, he and the Muslims ain't doing nothing. They ain't getting active. But when you look at the history, when this hypocrite went down there to Mississippi, he did a, a, a lecture called to Mississippi Youth. He did the ballot of the bullet, trying to appease to the student nonviolent coordinating committee, them young people. Because when he was in the nation, he used to go down to them southern colleges and talk. He talked at Clark. He talked at a lot of these southern universities. So he thought it was him. So he criticized the messenger like he got this pseudo religion. They ain't active. So I'm going to go down here with these young people in the student now. They rejected him. They don't even talk about how them African leaders, it was in the paper too. We're going to bring that one day. Them African leaders rejected Malcolm X with this, uh, what he was talking about. He's going to internationalize the struggle. Take the white man to the UN and, and get them on charges of human rights violations. All them African uh, countries denounced Malcolm X. Yes, sir. 
Say, we ain't turning against the white man. We think what they doing for civil rights is good. It was in the paper. They didn't even accept him. Yes, sir. But they try to act like Malcolm X was doing something progressive. Taking the white man to court for human rights violations. But they don't tell you how them African leaders rejected Malcolm X. Yes, like, we ain't about to talk about this white man for you. Yes, we think what they doing for civil rights is good. But they don't never talk about the history. Yes, sir. So this is... 1963, Brother Jeremiah down in, in Atlanta. It says, Atlanta's outspoken Muslim minister, Jeremiah X, spelling out his followers' reaction to the Birmingham desegregation drive, graphically illustrated why fearful white leaders had rather deal with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. any day than avoid meeting Muhammad's disciples head on, said Jeremiah in Birmingham. Once again, he the minister of Atlanta. He down there in Birmingham in the thick of it. Yes, sir. While them preachers down there doing their little drives, he down there criticized. Yes, sir. While he's still up in Atlanta, they say he's a hard worker in Atlanta. They about to take Atlanta. Yes, sir. But he in Birmingham too. Mm -hmm. So he says, it doesn't amount to anything to be able to sit down at a lunch counter and be able to eat a hot dog with a white man. What we Muslims want is the lunch counter, the store the lunch counter is in, and the land the store is on. All yes, oh, praise due to Allah. Yes, That's Brother Jeremiah. Yes. He didn't go down there with the old my black brother stuff. Right. Come on, brother. Come on to the temple. No. They some fools yes. trying to integrate with this devil. That's right. And we can see the difference between the messenger followers and this new school stuff now. That's right. He go all the way down to Birmingham to criticize them for integrating with the devil. But today we'll bring a devil to the temple. Yes, right. Tell the black man, it's my brother. Right. Tell him. You look at this history. You will see we as far as away from the message as the east is to the west. Yes. Right. Them brothers was not with the old my black brother stuff. Yes. You had a devil, they criticizing you. Yes, right. Talking against you. Turning the people against you. And that's why Dr. King and the rest of them people started looking for the message. Yes, so you got another Jack Magazine. All this hard work Jeremiah doing in the 60s. Yes, sir. Devil's bombing churches. Devil's shooting black people, lynching them, hanging them. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah in the South. Yes, sir. Getting the South for the Muslims. Right. Turning people's idea away from the devil to the Muslims. Right. Yes, well, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. This one comes from the April 9th, 1964 Jack Magazine. And it, it's called Black Unity Forum Split Over Audience Integration. It says a forum in Atlanta on black unity began with harsh words between the city's Muslim minister, Jeremiah X, sponsor of the meeting, and Reverend Wayne T. Walker, Dr. Martin Luther King's top aide. So he stay in contact with Dr. King and, or his people. Yes, sir. All them years. Criticizing them. Not only was the messenger criticizing Dr. King in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper, he had a representative directly in their city yes, That's criticizing right. them too. That's right. Wasn't all my black brother stuff. Right. Said you gonna accept the messenger or what? Right. Yes, if you don't accept the messenger, we banging on you. Right. Ain't none of that old my black brother stuff. Right. So the unity rally that Jeremiah had had a split. Cause Dr. King, them people wanted to come. Jeremiah said, no, y'all like them devils with y'all. Y'all can't come to my meeting. Right. Yes, That's how it was with the best. Yes, yes, even though you black, even though you my black brother, y'all got devils with y'all. Right. So no, y'all can't come in. Right. Yes, That's how them people was with the best. Right. When the hypocrite Malcolm Little left, he was criticizing the messenger because he wasn't joining in to the civil rights thing. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the history, they wanted to come to Jeremiah's thing. Right. Yes, That's the history. So it goes on to say, when Walker protested the Muslim ban on whites attendance at the forum, Walker withdrew on the principle that I can't participate in anything segregated. And Jeremiah later called militant Reverend Walker a tool for the white man. Yes, sir. Now, to them preachers in the South, Wayne T. Walker was militant. Because it said the militant Reverend Wayne T. Walker. Right. Until they got in there with the Muslims. Mm -hmm. the, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee was militant. 
Until Jeremiah come in town. They was militant, all of them. They thought they was militant. Until right. Jeremiah came in town. That's why they said they liked the way Jeremiah taught black nationalists. Yes, because they thought they was militant. They thought that vote the right drive was something until they saw Jeremiah. Right. Yes, sir. Now them young people want to say, well, these Muslims got, let's go to the temple. Right. Some of them even joined. And the devil got the names of those who joined the uh, the Nation of Islam from the uh, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Mm -hmm. So it says several Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee members were turned away from the forum because the SNCC group was integrated. Jeremiah turning them away. Right. Well, none of that old my black brother come on in. He turned them away. Right. Showing you in 1964. This was in April of 1964. Malcolm had made that, I think he made that ballot of the bullet by then. He was talking about uh talking about that uh what was it? It was to Mississippi youth, some little speech he made to Mississippi youth. He was offering to send his people down to Mississippi to protect them. That's the stuff he was saying, talking about he wanted to give the Ku Klux Klan a dose of their own mess. We see they want to hang with Jeremiah. Right. It's the history. It's the documented history that they don't never talk about. So then we could go to one more thing. This is called Woman Behind the Man. Martin Luther King takes his worries home to her. Martin Luther King started getting depressed. About the Muslims. They don't talk about that. It wasn't because of Matt. It's because of Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Down in the South. We're going to Birmingham, Alabama, Greenwood, Mississippi, Florida, and Atlanta. One brother. Yes, sir. The messenger's representative. He sent him down there for a reason. Right, right. That's what we got to get an understanding of, too, when the messenger and the laborers meet. He told them brothers, just because I, if I send you to do something, it don't mean you better. Mm -hmm. When the messenger made Malcolm the national representative, it wasn't because he was bad. National representative is a different kind of post than what Jeremiah was doing. That's right. You got to know the type of brothers you're dealing with. Right. That's right. Some brothers need TV, bro. That's right. Yeah. He's, I'm going to get interviewed with the white man in college, bro. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Some of them, them type of brothers. That's right. That's right. Then you got them hard to paint, bro. Yes, sir. That's right. The brothers you can see it down there with the real death. That's right. That's right. You know who you got. That's right. The messenger knew who he was working with. That's yes. right. Malcolm X was a talker. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. What he was. He wasn't nobody who can go down there and deal with the real yes, devil head on. That's right. They ain't do the law. Yes, the history. Uh -huh. Malcolm X up here talking the big talk. Mm -hmm. Every time it's time to say some big talk stuff in the press, who sing? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Malcolm sing. Yep. You ain't even down there with the real devil. Jeremiah down there with the real devil. That's right. Brother Jeremiah talking on YouTube. Yes, sir. When there 130 white people in a plane crash, it flew from Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and it crashed in uh, France. Malcolm X, he ain't even in Atlanta. He said he praised the death of these devils. Uh, Jeremiah said he got heat for that. Yeah. This brother up there in these colleges with a whole different type of white people. Why are you sitting up there praising the death of these deaf? Yes, sir. If anybody would have did it, it should have been Jeremiah. He down there with him. That's right. That's right. But when it's time to be in the camera, mm -hmm. Malcolm was the one in the camera. That's right. That's right. Malcolm was the one that messenger sent when it's time for the camera. Right. But Jeremiah. When this camera brother talking all the big talk, Jeremiah get the heat for what he's talking right. about. Yes, sir. While he up in New York. Right. Uh -huh. Up there with Duke Ellington and them. Yes, sir. Up there with the jazz bands right. and them. Right. right. That's the history. Yes, sir. All these brothers wasn't the same. That's right. Some of these brothers couldn't talk as good as Malcolm X. That's right. But some of these brothers could step to the death. That's right. For the mess. That's right. All the praise due to Allah. You don't have no history of Malcolm stepping to no death. No, sir. Show me that history. Yes, he up there in the camp. Yes, sir. And that's the difference between Jeremiah and Malcolm. Yes, sir. When you look at these whole Muhammad Speaks newspapers. Yes, right. sir. And when you look at that brother in Boston. Mm -hmm. Look at the history. And what was going on in Boston in the 60s? Mm -hmm. I ain't saying this job was easy. But this big Asta, when you look at these Muhammad Speaks new 
newspaper and look at all these brothers. Some brothers get shot in the head for the message. Yeah. That's right. As a minister. Right. Yes. They don't even talk about these brothers. Mm -hmm. Try to act like this brother in Boston. Mm -hmm. If you had to choose, where would you rather be? Greenwood, Mississippi, or Boston. <laughs> That's the answer. Yes, sir. Because you cannot, this stuff that we do today, you cannot support it with the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. That's why the Nation of Islam archivist is the biggest hypocrisy in the world, mm -hmm. as far as Muslims is concerned. Mm -hmm. They hide the truth. That's right. Like the messenger said in the, uh, our Savior has arrived. Hide the truth. Yes. That's what they do. They want people to believe they version of Islam. Yes. This big eye stuff. Mm -hmm. All this New York stuff. Mm -hmm. New York was a mecca for black people. Harm. That's right. Down south wasn't no mecca. Black people were trying to run from down south That's to right. get away from that death. Right. Go to places like Hawk. They try to act like Malcolm X affected the whole country when you got brothers like Jeremiah down there stepping to the real death. That's right. When Jeremiah and them used to buy land for them white people, Malcolm was with who? Jeremiah. Because mm -hmm. Jeremiah was the one down there building a relationship with them devils. Yes, sir. He was the one that them devils respect. Mm -hmm. But you also read in these papers how them Ku Klux Klan members respected Jeremiah. Yes, sir. You already see how the Atlanta Constitution say he a hard worker. Yes, sir. Jeremiah was building up a reputation for the Muslims in the South. Yes, it wasn't Malcolm. Right. So when the messenger wanted Malcolm as the national representative, go down there with Jeremiah with him. Yes, sir. And go get this land from them devils. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah was the one establishing them relationships. Yes, sir. Jeremiah was the one they saw who was opposing them preachers. Mm -hmm. Who was opposing the student nonviolent coordinate committee? Who was stepping the devils when he was going down there to Birmingham when they bombed the church? Yes, sir. Stepping to the devil, J.B. Stone. Mm -hmm. It was Jeremiah. It wasn't Mount. Right. Wasn't this brother from Boston? Yes, sir. It was Jeremiah. Yes, sir. So we see that Martin Luther King had an article in the Los Angeles Times, and it's August 15, 1966. It says Martin Luther King takes his worries home to her. It says, Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King, who constantly tells Negroes not to worry, that they will win their struggle for racial equality, often take his worries home with him like any other husband. And Miss Coretta Scott King, like any other wife, reassures her husband. Dr. King recently came home with, with a worried expression, dejected about increasing cries of black power from two militant civil rights organizations. What two militant civil rights organizations is he talking about? This right here is Stokely Carmichael. This brother right here is Floyd McKenzie. Dr. King starts seeing that Jeremiah, not Malcolm X, brother Jeremiah started having an effect on them young people. Wasn't no Malcolm X. Yes, sir. Brother Jeremiah, right. he started getting depressed. Yes, sir. You've been spending too much time at this temple. Yeah. Listening to Jeremiah, and they thinking the stuff I'm talking about ain't good enough no more. Right, yes, sir. So in the New York Times, they got an article about how he take his worries home to his wife, telling her about how he worried about the muscle. Because these two brothers right here, uh, Floyd McKenzie, and Stokely Carmichael came and met the message. That's what Dr. King was worried about. So they eventually met the message. And we're about to see how these uh, Nation of Islam archivists can lie on the truth. Because it's real easy to flip the truth when you have it. Right. Because when you look at the Muhammad Speaks newspaper and see when them brothers actually came to the temple, they came to the temple in New York. You see them with a picture right here. This is the brother from Boston. Now, if I was a Nation of Islam archivist and I wanted you to think he was a mess of number one student, I ain't gonna say nothing about Jeremiah. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Ain't no picture of Jeremiah and them in the Muhammad Speak News that I saw. Yeah. I ain't seen one. But if I want you to think he was the number one student of the mess, just show you this picture. I ain't going to print the whole Muhammad Speaks newspaper. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to tell you about all the history. I'm just going to show you little stuff in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. Mm -hmm. 
But the facts of the history is it was Jeremiah. Yes, sir. That's the truth. The message that says it's dangerous to hide the truth. Yes, right. Because when you have the truth, you can give another person a whole different perspective of what the messenger wanted them to think. Right. That's right. The messenger wanted us to see a nation of people working together. Right. Right. Oh, praise God to Allah. He didn't want us to see one individual. Right. That's why he sent certain people to do certain stuff. That's right. Because he knows certain people have a gift of doing certain things. That's right. Everybody can't be the national representative. That's right. But you can have a brother just as qualified, just as hardworking, just as fiery as a national representative who ain't on TV all the time, That's right. who ain't on the radio all the time, yes, who down there with much tougher situations he's dealing with than the national representative. Yes. That's right. But we ain't taking nothing away from them. Yes, sir. They work hard too. That's right. But everybody worked hard. Yes, sir. The messenger talked about Jesus. He said Jesus didn't do nothing more than any believer would do. Yes, sir. To get us away from all this, putting Jesus above every other prophet. Right. He didn't do nothing more than any believer would do. Right. Just like with these brothers. They didn't do nothing more than any believer was doing. Yes, sir. Them the facts. So, Martha Luther King was worried because the student nonviolent coordinator and them young people started looking towards the message. Mm -hmm. So it says, he saw the use of the emotional charge slogan as not only a reflection of Negro frustration with slow progress in the civil rights struggle, but as a threat to the nonviolent direct action movement, which he leads. So he started getting worried about them going to the temple. He started getting worried about them listening to Jeremiah now. So he was taking his worries home. It wasn't because of Malcolm. This was in 1966. Malcolm had already died. Yeah. The messenger did not join in with the civil rights movement. Right. At all. Because the truth will prevail. Yes, sir. That's what the messenger sent down in the South. A minister teaching the truth. Right. He ain't sent nobody down there with no guns. He didn't see no brother down there woofing for the press. That's right. Jeremiah wasn't all in the press like Malcolm. But Jeremiah was getting to them people. Yes, right. sir. They saw how Jeremiah and the Muslims was doing. They weren't all in the press. Mm -hmm. They weren't all loud, but they had Shabazz restaurant. Yes, sir. Shabazz supermarket. They had a, the University of Islam. Mm -hmm. They see how clean the Muslims is. Yes, sir. They see how well managed the Muslims is, and they start respecting that. Yes. Right. They start seeing how the Muslims is, is successful without the help of the devil. Right. Yes. That's, right. That's what they respected about the message. Yes, sir. They see that the message got Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. They see the minister got Jeremiah down here. They see they got this minister, that minister. So they start respecting them. Right. Yes, sir. And that's what led them to want to go meet the message. Yes, sir. It was everybody. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just one person. Right. But when you hide the truth, like the message said, that's a dangerous thing to hide the truth. That's right. You cause people to even kill themselves mm -hmm. because you lying to them. Right. A lot of people who accept Islam, you devote your life to Islam. You devote your life to a brother who hide the truth from you. How would you feel when you find out? All this time, this brother knew what it was. Yes, sir. Knew what the messenger said. Knew the messenger program, but you had. Yes, sir. Some brothers wouldn't accept it if they would have knew you did that. Uh -huh. Then you get involved with these brothers and you in it now. Been there 12, 15 years. Yeah. Your children is in the university. They like it. Your wife like it. Yeah. Your family in it. You done told all your brothers and sisters that they know you know you're in it. Now you're in it now. Then you find out how heartbreaking that is. Yes, hide the truth. Right. Messenger said that's a dangerous thing to hide the truth. That's right. And when you saw the messenger, he never had the truth. When them civil rights leaders get back to the Muhammad speech, when the messenger saw these civil rights leaders lying to the people, accept the money from the devil to lie to the people, he told the people about them. That's yes. right. It wasn't on my black brother. That's right. His ministers were doing the same. Yes, sir. But Jeremiah was giving them hell down in George. Yes, sir. So the messenger in his article, it says, ah, time, brother and sister. <laughs> it's so much history, brother. Right. Yes, yeah. sir. So much you can say about the message. That's right. Because when you read that article, the victory of the apostle. The messenger was victorious of all these hypocrites. That's right. To say this in my clothes. When you look at how all of the people who turned against the messenger when Wallace and them turned. It was Wallace. It was Malcolm. It was Akbar. 
It was them sisters with the paternity suit. It was a lot of people who turned against the message. Right. He still stood strong against all of them. And came out on top. Oh, pray to a lot. So it's a lot of stuff you can say, brother and sister. Because of the time. I don't want to prolong the time. So I'll leave you as I came in the nation. It's not green words. Keep us along the way. Enjoying the show? Help keep us on the air. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. To make a donation. Brother and sister, rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the merciful. So, message day of judgment in which we now live. The alone that we serve and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path. Path of those upon whom thou hast thy favors. Not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down. Nor are those who go astray after they heard thy teachings. Say here lies one God. Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is heard to be served, worship, or praise besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone that we wouldn't have done it to ourselves and treat everybody right, even the devil. Assalamu alaikum.